Now this is therapy. Let's get it. What's happening fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So this project today, it's a little bit different. Ignore that. I'm just working on other side projects. This is gonna be a little bit different where I am gonna be testing my hand at something totally, totally new. And what I'm gonna be doing is, I know you can't see that well, but I know you can see this, but I'm gonna be taking out this liner in my trunk. Hold on, let me see something. Oh, there we go. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking this liner right here off. There's just uh, some pop clips you gotta take off. Then I'm gonna be taking this inside and working on this project. And what this project is, it's some fiber optics. So you know how people put star lighting on their headliner, which that'll probably be coming soon. I just, time is my only issue between work and the kids and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be doing this small project first to show you the, pretty much the basics. And what you're gonna, probably gonna need guys is drill a low temp glue gun, not a high temp one, because you could damage fiber optics like that. So drill, low temp glue gun, and a lot of patience, I guess. Anything else, I'll let you know as we go on, but let's get it. All right, guys, so obviously this can be a mess. I was actually gonna talk about the, the box and this entire setup. This is from a company called Akipo. It's a 16 watt. It's only about 300 pieces. It's an RGBW piece where it actually twinkles, fades in and out, strobes, goes with music, works with a remote and an application as well. I'll show you about the app and stuff afterwards, but it's actually a pretty, pretty nice setup. Also in the sets of strands here in these 300 pieces, um, there's a number of different pieces. There are three different sizes, 0.03 inches, 0.04 inches and 0.06 inches. So when it twinkles, some stars look small and some look a little bit bigger, which is pretty freaking nice. Um, obviously, I'm almost finished. Guys, you can use a very, very small drill bit. This is my drill bit set right here. I'm using a 1 16th bit, or I'm actually using this tack. The tack is actually easy for 99% of the strands or 98% of the strands. It's the actual one or 2% that I have to just put the drill through it for. Um, also, the cool thing about this one, it's about almost 10 feet in length. These fiber optic strands are about 10 feet, which means I can, once I put a hole in, run it through, I can run it through a good, close to a damn near six inches or more and not worry about any overlap. I have a lot of, lot of fiber optics, so I'm, I could route this how I wanted it. So it's not too bad. Whatever this is, I'll list it in the description. And you know, I mean, it, it's very, very simple. Now, one side, this side over here is finished. As you can see, I used my dual temperature heat gun. Guys, make sure if you're doing this, use a low temp gun. A high temp gun, can possibly damage the fibers. So a low temp gun, 
put the glue in there, let it set, and we're straight. And at the end, once I'm done with all the holes over here, I'll chip away these excess pieces and we're, we're straight. Oh, one more thing I forgot guys, when you're doing this, start off at a corner and work your way to the end. And do a section first, use the glue, then do a section afterwards, use more glue. Right, guys it's a little bit later at night and my OCD will not allow me to stop until I finish so I just want to show you pretty much the install is complete the headliner is back in for the trunk and <clears throat> what I did was took some electrical tape wrapped it around nicely so it's nice and seamless zip tied it right here and this entire portion is going to be running back there I only have it here to just demonstrate to you how it works, app functionality, and so forth. Also, right now I have it connected to my AC plug. I will be using the DC plug. The only thing is I won't be able to connect, like run this DC plug to the middle of the car because I don't have any more outlets. So what I will be doing is I am going to be cutting this DC plug right here. Now, in case you guys don't know, most of you guys have these chargers in your car. In here, if you unscrew this, there is a built-in fuse. So if anything was to happen, the fuse blows. That's why sometimes you buy certain things like chargers or whatever, and they give you extra fuses. And some of you might be like, well, what the hell is that for? That's what it's for. So this right here, if you unscrew this, there is a two amp fuse in here. So what I'm going to be doing is <clears throat> once I cut this wire for the DC plug, there's a positive and negative in there. I'm going to join the positive to this right here. Now, since I'm going to be cutting away the fuse, I have extra fuses right here. I'll link in the description. And this is a two amp fuse in here. It's the same one that's in there. I put it right in here. So now we have it as an inline fuse and I'm gonna hook it directly right in the back where all my uh, wiring is for my, uh, what you call it, for my sound system, uh, all of that stuff. I don't know if the camera could pick it up, but it's freaking dark in here. So back here I have power and ground stuff. So I will be doing that. What else? Uh, yeah, I think that should be it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm, let me turn off these lights and I'll show you how it works. First, I'll show you with the remote. Hold on, let me just take this light off. <clears throat> oh, and one more thing, guys. When you connect this, right, when you connect this to the, to the box, like so, when you hook it up to the box, there is a little screw right there, that Phillips head screw. Obviously, tighten it so it holds this in place. Got it? One more thing, next day I found an actual part I was looking for. I bought these a long time ago and I put them somewhere where I forgot, but it was in a safe place. This is a socket for a 12 volt cigarette lighter. And it comes with wires and a fuse. It comes with a 10 amp fuse. So now I don't need to cut the actual cigarette lighter off of that. Now I'm just gonna hook this up to where all my permanent connections is back here for like my sound system and my air ride system. The wires come with terminals where you can literally just slip it on just like so. And it has a negative and positive and then slip this jacket right over it for protection. And now we don't have to worry so now we're gonna have it double fused with this 10 amp right here to provide protection and also the fuse on the actual cigarette lighter connection as well. And that's it. Okay, let me turn off this one. 
So now we'll just do it with the remote. Now the remote pretty much has everything the app has. The app just is a little more versatile with the color wheel and whatnot. So I'm gonna turn it on. Obviously you'll see the power going to it, but you can't see anything with that black tape. And there you go. So smooth. Now guys, for basic functionality, you have obviously red, green, blue, yellow, different types of blue, cyan, teal, you know what I mean? Purple, some type of yellow, brown, green, like highlighter type green, and there's different modes. Also, by the way, this is an RGBW setup, so you can get pure white. That's beautiful, that's like a 6500K white. It's so nice. Now, you can increase and decrease the brightness with the remote as well. That's decreasing it right there. So I'm decreasing the brightness. And I'm increasing it again. And you can see it right here. You can see the lights dimming as I'm decreasing. So that's just goes to show you. So what you can do is just hold it down if you want to hold down the button until it goes all the way back up. All right, so now there's different modes. There's jump, there's a, there's a couple jumps. There's a jump three, jump seven, fade three, fade seven, flash, breath, music on and off. So this box also has the ability to listen to your voice or music. It has a little, a couple holes back there that looks like it's for a fan, but that is for the voice. It's pretty much like a, a, like a mic where, that picks up voices. And the cool thing about this one, it has a motor in it as well. Now, let me see if you can hear it. If I click motor on and off. I don't know if you can hear that subtle deep. So what that is, that is the twinkle motor. So now when I have this on, let's say if I click on breath, not only is it breathing different colors, it's twinkling at the same damn time. That is freaking awesome. You know what I mean? That's so cool. Look at that. That's beautiful. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. This was a, a 295, let's say a 300 piece. This takes time. This takes time and it takes patience. Time and patience. But you'll get it done. Time and patience. This is beautiful. That is beautiful. Let's go on to the app real quick. And by the way, the, how you get the app in the box and even over here on the, the motor, there is a QR code, just scan it. It'll take you right to the app store to download the app. So hold on. All right guys, this is the app portion of the video. As I said, take your phone, scan that QR code on the motor or the brochure that they leave you in the box. Okay, and it'll take you to the App Store. It says My Smart LED. Click on that bad boy, download it. Once you have it open, okay, it will automatically sense that box as long as it has power going to it. So if you have power going to the box, it's gonna sense it. And the upper, the top middle button, that's the on off button right here. Click that bad boy. There we go. So now we got them on. Now, this is the color wheel here. Obviously you can move that bad boy around. See how it's changing? Like, it's crazy. So you have more versatility with the RGB function right here. Then there is a white, like dimming your, the white, it's, it's nuts. So it's pretty actually cool. 100% dim. 
that's that's actually cool so we don't want to dim the white at all so we want to leave that at zero percent or you can pick right here 25 percent 50 75 100 but we don't want to dim that bad boy okay and this is obviously like a warm light color i don't want to mess with that so let's say so this is just and now also we have stagnant colors right here just like the remote you got your white you got your red green and let me tell you, as I'm touching this, this is super, super, like, fast. Very, very fast. There is no delay here whatsoever, no lag. And now, these plus buttons right here, you can add stagnant colors as well, right here. So if you hit the plus button, you move to the color wheel right here. You move this right here to the color wheel, add that. Move it somewhere else, add this over here add that so you know i mean you can mess around with it or whatever the case might might be and you know to whatever tickles your fancy you know what i'm saying now to obviously unselect it unselect whatever color you make just hold down this hold down the color and it'll disappear okay so now you got a couple different modes right here this is, now we have like a seven color fade, RGB fade. Now let's speed it up so at least you can see what's happening. So just gonna be red, blue, and green, fading in and out. Seven color breathe. It's actually pretty cool. Red and green fade. You got a red and blue fade, green and blue fade. Seven color jump. I hate jumps. I like smooth transitions. An RGB jump, seven color flash. I can't stand flashing. You know what I mean? RGB flash, red flash. So you got a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna leave that to seven color fade. I like that a lot. And obviously you got your brightness setting and everything like that here. Where you can lower your brightness, raise your brightness. It's actually pretty cool. Now you have your sound engine down to the bottom middle. And Obviously, once you, you know, I mean, you, you can increase and decrease the sensitivity of the sound driver. So if you, you know, I mean, you like that stuff, that's fantastic. You have sound, music, mic. It's actually pretty cool. So this is, so once I click on mic, look at that. As soon as I speak, it flashes. So how this works, the decibels, if you increase the sensitivity of it, you're gonna have to speak louder in order for it to pick it up. If you decrease it, soft, like normal tones, it'll pick up. So that's actually pretty cool. So then you have music right here. You can play music from your phone or whatever the case might be, and it'll go to the music. What's the dawn? I don't know what this is. Let me see. That's probably something they left in here. Yeah, this is something they left in here. I don't know what this is. So I'm not uh, messing with that. But, um, yeah. But it actually works. It actually works pretty good. So I'm not going to mess with that. I don't know what it is. So I don't want to get a copyright strike. So, okay. So, and as far as, um, as far as that goes, that's perfect. We'll go with that. And now we have you know, twinkle functions. So once you hit the play button right here, you hear the motor kick on. I'm gonna pause it, the motor kicked off. So now the twinkle function, that's speed number two. Then you got twinkle speed three. And twinkle speed four. This is cool. I really like it. And there's another function here as well. There's a Meteor function, but this didn't come with like a Meteor package. So this app has a capability of operating it as well. That's actually pretty cool. So let's go to Twinkle. Pause, once you hit pause, the motor is gonna stop. There's an extra motor in there for the Twinkle function. And guys, that's really it. You know what I mean? That is all she wrote. So even in the settings, there's also um, instructions and whatnot, how to connect it, 
Bluetooth and everything else. That's pretty much it, man. Guys, you know what to do. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys soon, man. Take it easy.